What's up, YouTube? Wanted to give you guys an update on uh, my Core Life 29 gallon. I finally got my filtration uh, set up the way I want to have it done. Um, as you can see, my do it yourself uh, lock line return is giving me plenty of agitation on the surface. Uh, it's exactly what I wanted. I'm not going to have to worry too much about flow on the inside because I will be placing uh, MP10 uh, probably dead center on this side over here uh, just so it's blowing towards my overflow and you can see my water line is right before the emergency overflow um, hoping the MP10 doesn't blow any of the water inside there but I'd probably keep it on really low uh, just so that it lasts as long and doesn't get noisy um, so here you can see uh, the overflow I got myself some egg crate and I got creative with it. I cut a piece basically kind of the same size of the overflow and I cut a piece of filter pad. Uh, it's about three quarters of an inch thick uh, to go in front of the egg crate and the egg crate is being pressed up against it uh, with that little arm right there and the arm of the skimmer so it keeps it nice and square uh, up against the overflow. Uh, should work pretty good as far as uh, catching large debris and you know most of the overfeeding stuff you know that happens. Um, here the skimmer I got pulling from the first section and spilling back into my second section which is my refugium and I did leave enough space straight down the middle to put a heater and you can see I put a piece of egg crate laying across here I kind of tucked it under here uh, to stop it from falling in over here. Uh, it's kind of being held up by this baffle, but it's not touching anything over here. Uh, I did that just so that it doesn't interfere with the water coming in. So um, down at the bottom, I put two pieces of egg crate uh, that fit the length and the size of the refugium and then I put two more pieces to kind of help brace it up but I only zip tied the ones at the bottom and this one on top is kind of just resting on it so that I can take it off and put a bag of carbon in here and replace it when needed and at the bottom I left it wide open I did cut some more of that filter pad uh, it's two pieces I put it in here just to help reduce these micro bubbles that you see uh, keep in mind the skimmer is running with fresh water uh, just for this water test so I can see uh, the different heights of my chambers uh, and a power outage test because uh, these the, these skimmers um, do hold you know quite a uh, quite quite a good amount of water so that when there's a power outage whatever's above your water line uh, is going to drain down into your tank so you got to be careful not to put too much water back here but you can see here um, my water level and the return pump section is actually lower than the uh, refugium and with that being that's because I have the phosphate reactor pouring back into this section with uh, MaxiJet 400 and I put the MaxiJet 400 at the bottom it was smaller than a 1200 so it actually fit better in between this wall and the glass uh, without touching nothing and making a vibration and the 1200 I stuck it to the back of the glass and I can actually slide it out this way so that I can get my hands down in here and change these pads without having to move nothing and since I put these pads here I didn't put anything in front of the pumps um, you know to stop debris or bubbles or anything like that so they're wide open uh, working at full capacity um, hoping this will be more than enough to catch the bubbles and with that in mind too um, there's this opening here that I also stuffed some filter pad inside there I'm hoping over time it'll kinda get dirty and clog up a little more so that the refugium section might raise up a little more and I'll give you a shot of the refugium light it's a uh, Eco Pico made by Ecozotic. It's uh, six and a half inches long, and you can see the reflection off of the egg crate. Uh, it's a pretty even spread as far as uh, from left to right. 
So I'm hoping this whole section will actually get some good growth of uh, some Catomorpha. And you can see how I did that up top. I kind of just zip tied it just to keep it in center. And I did bust some of the pieces of the egg crate uh, in front of the LED just so that it's not being blocked. And the great part about putting it on the top is that these egg crate squares kind of focus the light uh, down straight into the refugium versus uh, allowing it to escape out the back and you know brighten up the whole room so it's kind of like a reflector making it go straight down instead of out because I wouldn't want too much growth uh, to happen on my skimmer and to happen on my reactor because with a strong enough light that will happen but you know, this can move side to side so if I need to look in this section here or look in this section here it actually slides back and forth but that's what I got so far and I'll show you what the power outage test looks like um, just so you can see first where my water levels at uh, it's right at the edge it's actually pretty perfect and back here it's a little bit uh, about an inch down off of that baffle and about maybe an inch and a half off of that one two inches almost Go ahead and do the power outage. So I'll leave the refugium light just so you can see that this water is siphoning down back into the tank and it'll stop once it levels out with this. So you can see they all filled back up. And the water level is still pretty high but it didn't go over the emergency baffle so I'm good to go guys I'm getting ready to fill up a reservoir with RO and mix it with some salt and get this tank up and running so let me know what you think happy reefing